serious business. The ultimate taco salad. Don't get no better than this. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp. And what are we talking about? guacamole and a taco salad two things that i judge a mexican food restaurant by how can they make them how good they are determines whether i'll be back now i'd like for y'all to do me a favor before we even get plumbed into this and go ahead and give us a like on this video because it does help our channel grow it would mean the world to me and shan and the pups so let's get started about this guacamole now guacamole people say what's so different and difficult about guacamole I'm gonna show you some tips and some tricks that I've come up with that I think makes the best guacamole ever. Let's just get started, you want to? Mm, 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 mm. The avocado, a wonderful fruit, or is it a vegetable? What do you think, Shen? It's just good. That's right on the money it is. Now, a lot of people, I'll be hearing this on the TV one time, it is a danger to get into an avocado and try to remove the seed because people didn't know what they were doing and end up taking a limb off. So really it's quite simple and you don't want to do it over here. You don't have good aim. Just put it in there Ooh, and just chop the seed right out of there. Now, folks, a lot of people are going to go back in here and they're going to do all this dicing and all this stuff when an avocado is made for this reason. You can just squish it right out of there. You get all the goodness out of it you do. You ain't leaving nobody out. Now this recipe does call for four avocados. And I don't want you to get the ones that are hard. I want you to get the ones that, sort of like checking a watermelon. Y'all know that, don't you? Where you get the little thump on there and it's just right. You just want them to have a little give to them. But some of them will try to fool you because even when you open an avocado and it'll be a totally different color around the outside edge because it is not what? It is not ripe. Y'all have one of these in your kitchen? What is it called? A potato masher. Do you see potatoes here? No, you do not. But folks, this is probably the best thing. I don't like to have a lot of chunks, but I don't want it puree either. I just wanted to give it a little mashing, and I've found that a tater masher works really well. It does. After that, there's a lot of stuff that you can put in guacamole, but to me, people add purple onion. No, no, wrong answer it is. White onion's gonna give this the most flavor. To me, a purple onion can be a little over powerful at times. So we have one white onion, one Roma tomato that is chopped, and not just any jalapeno. I'm talking one of the best things that you can do is get the pickled jalapenos because they're gonna give it the most flavor. And also one minced garlic clove. So after that, lime juice or a lime if you've got one. So just give it a little, because we're going to taste this here in just a minute to make sure that we're pretty close. And a little bit of onion powder. I like it. It goes a long way. It does. So I would just also like for you to know, this recipe, Shen, is also in our cookbook. What? Faith, Family, and the Feast. No more mashing with the tater masher. Just go to folding that stuff in. We'll season it with a little seasoning here in just a minute to taste. Mmm. I get a little heat, get a little everything. But folks, I love to put some mesquite seasoning in there because it's got a little ancho chili. And when you hear the word ancho and chili, you automatically think, oh, it's gonna be spicy, it's gonna be hot. No, it's a perfect blend. Or you can use just regular old salt and pepper. But I like to give it a pretty good dose in here. We will stir it one more time and adjust it again if it needs it. Easy it is, canned beans. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drain a little juice off of them because I don't need all that juice in there. I'm saying we're going to take seven eighths of it out of the can and then we're going to dump the can right in this Dutch oven. I need you to add a little chili seasoning and I would prefer you use ours. But hey, if you got some in the cabinet and you're in a bind, go ahead on. Where can you find this? KentRollins.com you have. A little bit of taco to mix in with it because we're trying to bring out some really good flavor in these canned beans. And then a little bit of mesquite. Then we're gonna cook this on the fire and let all these flavors blend in together. One pound, 80, 20 ground chuck in this Dutch oven, browned up really well it is. There is one white onion that is diced, one honking big poblano that was blistered, and a jalapeno that was blistered. I leave the seeds in them because I want them to talk to me when I see them, I do. So we're gonna put these in there, let all this simmer together till them onions get tender, blend in some of that flavor, and then we're gonna season that meat to taste, and ooh, it is gonna be so good. Well, you know, as topping-wise go, let's 
top this on out. I mean, take it to the top of the flavor letter. Oh my gosh, something happened. <laughs> <coughs> flavor letter got me all chafed up, it did. You know, you could go and get you some of that, what you call cheese whiz sauce, you know, where you just pour it over and you think, oh, that looks really good. It's not, you know. We're gonna make this and we're gonna tune it up a little with some good cheeses, two kinds, yes. Velveeta, just the yellow, and Velveeta queso blanco, uh-huh. Now, why the, do you use Velveeta? Cause it melts really well, it gets good and smooth, and I just think it brings a great flavor to this because we're gonna kick it up a notch with a little bit of cumin and some red pepper flakes, get it to where it is good and smooth consistency. This'll fool you, right here it will. We're gonna add a little chicken broth. I know y'all think that's yeah, odd but it is not, huh? That way it's gonna give us that smooth consistency that will pour and drizzle all over the top of this taco salad that will have you drooling up on your computer. Or TV. Uh-huh. Or phone. Yes, all of the above, yes it will. You need the Mondo size jumbo, humbo jumbo, mumbo, I mean, great big honking inch, 12 inch tortillas. Because folks, we gotta have something that's- Whoa, a mouse got in yours. No, that was me. It was a trick. I'm going to show these folks in a minute to check oh. your oil. You tear off a corner. That way you'll know. Kent Rollins tested this fire because he tore the corner off that. Not a mouse. No. <laughs> so you want this when it cooks. I mean, it's going to form all up and everything. We want it big enough to hold something that we can get full on. I don't want a little serving. Have y'all ever seen me scrimp on anything? No, you haven't. Now, you can do this in the house with a deep fryer. And a lot of people do. Or they have these little homemade baskets that you can just push this down in the deep fryer and it just forms right around it. What is it? It is a cylinder. Is that a word? Cylind I, cylinder? I don't think so. Shape. It is. What is it? A tomato sauce can. Yes. Because we're going to use this as a guide to push it down in the hot oil and to let this form around it and blossom out to where it is oh so pretty and some hot grease that we're running at about 375 to 4 because it's a pretty, pretty quick fry. Now you could do this in a Dutch oven or a bean pot. That's what I'm using is a bean pot. And you want to make sure that your tortilla overhangs your bean pot just a little. And you got to have pretty good aim because sometimes if you miss center, it's not the correct shape. But don't throw them away because them make great crumbles that you can eat. They are oh so good. Try to line up in the center and then mash and let her fry. Ain't that pretty? Is it too pretty to eat? No, I guarantee you. Now, I like to just go ahead and take me a little bit of this shell right off here, and then I'm gonna get me some of this guacamole, reach down in there, get some cheese sauce, everything that goes with it. It's a happy day! It's a happy day! Oh my gosh, it's a happy day! Taco salad is coming my way. Woo! Folks, the flavors in there, they will jump out to meet you. Before your tongue ever gets there, they'll say, I'm here for you. It is a party. Oh my gosh. The guacamole is outstanding. The pickled jalapenos add so much, but that seasoned meat with that poblano in there mm, brings all the flavor out. We'll go ahead and mix this up so we can get to them beans down there on the bottom. And I, I'm gonna ask you, and y'all comment on this below, how many of you mix your taco salad before you eat? Now, there is quite a discrepancy in our house. Me, I like to layer it all there, there where you get one in every bite. Mm, 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 mm. Well, folks, I'm just gonna tell you, if you look down here, there's one pup. It's 97 degrees today, and the humidity is what I call well-to-do. 
B is the only one participating. Now the rest of them, oh, they're here. Yes, they're here. Can you hear the diesel truck running up there? All of them are in there with the air conditioner on sitting in there thinking it's nice. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video because we so appreciate you letting us just come into your living room, your house, your cell phone, your truck, wherever you may be, and sharing some wonderful taco salad with some homemade guacamole. Everything we used in this video will be listed right down there below as always. But hey, big news coming up in July. We'll be in Kidron, Ohio at Layman's Hardware Store. And folks, if you'll check out their little website and order tickets now, you have a chance to be able to win free tickets. Yes, but also not just that, you could win a $100 gift certificate or a $500 gift certificate and you can go shopping with me in the store. I'm looking forward to it, I am. So be sure and check out their website. Go ahead and get you some tickets. It'll be listed right down there below to where you can find it. As always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp. We appreciate you one and all we do. The rest of you, come on in here. It's hot. Yeah, it's come on, it's hot, but we're going to get a big old hug anyway. Guess what? God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the homemade guacamole taco salad trail. I don't know what you're saying. What? This looks like something I might have stepped in. That's what you told me a long time ago when you told me I had to eat it. Hey, thank y'all for hanging around our channel, and if you want more, there'll be another video pop right up there. But also remember that guacamole recipe and our cookbook, Faith, Family, and the Feast. But don't forget that other, A Tasty Cowboy.